Welcome back guys, it's Henry1502 Inc. I'm back and today we are continuing with our Python Code Academy series and before I start I'm just going to ask you guys to please click on every ad in or around my videos. I get a small cut, you guys get some great ads and I, ha I can now do live events so keep watching my channel eventually occasionally I will be doing some live events it should probably be on the weekends but I'll try to fit some on the weekdays I don't know how that will all fit in through my schedule but here we go with Python so basically what we want to do we are using arithmetic operators which are the base these are essential to math which Python can do so arithmetic operators think of them as addition subtraction division you know the standard but most of you may not have heard of module and we will get that last out of the way so just keep watching and here we go so here we go Code Academy wants us to set the variable count to to the sum of 1 plus 2 which should be 3 so the number one thing we do is we have to create a variable called count to and set it equal there are there are ways that you can do this the most common way that I like to do this is this yeah so save and submit and it's taking a long time it shouldn't be taking this long and we get the green check mark we are all golden but let me go back to see if this could work it says technically set it equal to one plus two on the line so let me see if it works it does not work if you press three if you input three so make sure you keep an eye on that I always wondered I didn't do that at originally but I just was like what the hell let me not try this so moving on to the next lesson so we're learning how to subtract so we're, we're still working with the variable count to what Code Academy wants us to do is subtract the variable count to which is assigned 5 minus 2 so we should get it we should get a return of 3 we get the green check mark we are all golden so now we're working with the variable nil so what we want to do is we are multiplying nil which has a value of 2 so far and we're multiplying it by 10 so we should get a result of 20 and we get the green check mark we are all golden moving on so we are working with the variable nil and we are dividing it by 5 I mean by 4 to get the value of 5 so basically it's basically it's basic division save and submit and whoa whoa embarrassing so you have to do it divided by four which gives you an output of five <laughs> so we get the green check mark we are all golden moving on to the next lesson so now we are working with exponents now exponents as you all know can be kind of tricky if you don't like math too well but the x where we want to get a value a return of 100 so in exponents you just need shift the A key two times so though that's pretty much how you do exponents in Python and in most languages and you 10 squared gives you a hundred save and submit we get the green check mark moving on to modules and modules think of modules as the remainder of a product so 10 divided by 3 will give you a remainder of 1 but in yeah let's why not do it in my original one I did 6 divided by 5 but why not 10 divided by 3 gives you a remainder of oh instead of doing divide let me show you why you don't do divide you get a remainder of 3 it doesn't it doesn't give you what you want divide basically tells you how many of 3 can go into 10 which is 3 3 times 3 is 9 but the way that you can get the remainder which comes in handy later on is shift and the 5 key which should give you the percent sign save and submit and we get the green check mark we are all golden so I hope you guys learned a lot make sure to hit subscribe like comment down below 
Add, like, subscribe, comment down below. Please click on every ad in or around my videos. I get a small cut. You guys get some great ads. Make sure to share this on Facebook, Twitter. I'm out.